Hi, I'm Ken Klask and I'm from Amulet Technologies. I'm here at Embedded Systems Conference showing our Amulet's new embedded GUI solution, GEM, GEM Studio. Amulet makes GUI microcontrollers that allow you to add a full iPhone class GUI to small embedded applications, even small embedded microcontrollers. We have an embedded microcontroller with the whole GUI OS that's royalty free and a tool set that allows you to give it to your graphics uh, guys that they can create a beautiful product and the embedded guys can actually finish off the flow of the, uh, the GUI and actually compile it down to what the product plays on our royalty free OS. Here's an example of a reference design that we did. This is a refrigerator um, with great looking graphics that were created by graphics artists uh, played by Amlet's Gem, uh, Gem GUI OS. I have, on, I have on the screen here our Gem Studio authoring tool and as I said the Gem Studio is usable by both graphics artists and the embedded engineers. The content in here is actually created by the graphics artist and actually uh, I'm going to, uh, these are actually radio buttons that look like fancy um, crushed ice and the like. Turn it off, turn it on, and the engineer can type in the actual service routines and it's so easy, it's just, it's just autocomplete. I hit tab, it pops up a list of all of the pages and all the objects that are on the screen. Uh, hit another tab. Um, let's say I want to send, when the guy hits his button and wants to send something out to UART, um, that's a UART object, hit tab again, what do I want to send out to UART? I want to set a byte value. That easy, autocomplete, tag directly to the OS. I'm going to hit done, hit run, and it'll run and it'll compile it and uh, simulate the OS on the PC. Okay, I typed an error in. I'm going to undo that, control Z, hit run. <laughs> when it's done compiling, the actual OS code that is rendering, that's in the chip, is also in the layout tool. So it's as WYSIWYG as you can get, but even when, but, but even when you simulate it, it compiles it down to the actual Flash program, the actual, the actual code that actually gets burnt into Flash, same binary, and then it runs on the PC with the same render en rendering engine, so it's exactly, it behaves and looks exactly like you would on the real chip that you solder onto your product. Uh, and uh, you don't even need the hardware. In that case, you can do full user testing and quick uh, uh, changes uh, right on the PC. And it's the exact same stuff that get burnt into flash. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>